I do not support a livable wage. What I support. So there's a special House election coming up in Georgia between the Democrat John Ossoff and the Republican Karen Handel. And they just had a debate yesterday. And I'm going to show you a clip. And this clip really displays how terrible of a candidate Karen Handel really is. Just watch. Does either candidate support a minimum wage increase? Mr. Ossoff starts with you. Yes, I do. The minimum wage uh, should be a living wage. I think we can uh, raise it indexed to the cost of living because the cost of living varies widely in urban and rural areas and in different states across this country. I think that increase needs to be implemented at a pace that allows business owners uh, to adapt their business plans so they're not shocked. Their business plans are not shocked by a sudden increase in labor costs. But look, if someone's working a 40-hour work week, uh, they deserve the kind of standard of living that Americans expect. That's part of the American dream, and there are too many folks who are having trouble making ends meet. Minimum wage. This is an example of the fundamental difference between a liberal and a conservative. I do not support a livable wage. What I support is making sure that we have an economy that is is robust with low taxes and less regulation so that those small businesses that would be dramatically hurt if you impose higher minimum wages on them are able to do what they do best, grow jobs and create good paying jobs for people in the 6th district. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get to Karen Handel in a second. But first, John Ossoff has a great answer. So he supports a livable wage because if you work 40 hours a week, then you should be able to afford to support yourself. And he supports it in a way where it's, it's an incremental increase. So it's not hit, hitting a small business all at once and that they could work in the wage increase so that it makes sense for their business. Fine, that's, that's good. But then Karen Handel comes on and one of the first things she says, I do not support a livable wage. <laughs> what? Is that going to win voters? I, I'm honestly curious. Like, is this... Because Republicans, they get votes, so... Is that a message that works? I, I mean, I guess we're going to find out. But if if you, if you, right off the bat, you're admitting, I don't support a livable wage, what you're saying is that somebody should be able to work 40 hours a week and not afford to pay the rent, and not afford to buy themselves food, and not afford to support their family. That's what you're saying. But then she goes on to contradict herself, because then she says, Grow jobs and create good paying jobs for the people in the 6th district. So... You don't support a livable wage, but you want to grow jobs and you want to grow good paying jobs. So good, I guess, on the scale is is less than livable. Is that how it works? So there's there's bad paying, there's good paying jobs, and then there's livable wage jobs. So <laughs> What's what's a what's a good job? Like 7 bucks an hour? That's that that works for you. M maybe 8 bucks an hour? That works. But not livable. Livable's too far. If you can live off your job, if you can actually support yourself, if you can actually buy food and pay for your rent, then no, can't support that. That's that's a livable wage job. That's too much. But a good paying job, if you can afford maybe, you know, half your rent, if you can afford to pay your water bill, I don't know, every every five months if you can afford maybe a ham sandwich every every three months uh, then that's a good paying job Th this is th this is the insanity that that americans are dealing with and Ossoff is it's not like he's some crazy lefty progressive he he's he's a typical mostly typical standard democrat and he's running in georgia so it's it's generally considered to be a more conservative district but I can't imagine that Karen Handel is winning people over with this message. So this election, which I believe is happening on Tuesday next week, if if Ossoff can't win this, then I, I I don't know what Democrats are supposed to do. Because here's a guy who who is it's not even really about Ossoff as much as it's about how terrible Karen Handel is. If people actually come out to vote for Handel, like they're excited, and she gets a large turnout. Uh, I'll be surprised, honestly. But what, whatever, we're gonna wait and see how this works out. Uh, I hope Ossoff wins this. But um, if Handel manages to pull it out, there's gonna be, uh, there has to be some sort of post mortem on what happened here, because if you can't beat Karen Handel, then 
where do you go? 